Hi guys! So for those of you that do not follow my Facebook, um, my name is Amanda and this is my hot mess kitchen and my hot mess cooking. Um, I am a mom of three. I work full time. I have a husband and two dogs and just an absolute crazy life. So usually during my videos you will see my kids running around or hear them. Hear my husband in the peanut gallery back there. So um, I did post a couple of videos that I had pre-recorded and I have them on my Facebook um, just to kind of get my channel going. So this is the first video that I'm posting specifically for you guys on YouTube. Um, and today it's pretty fitting for fall. So I am going to teach you how to make Cinnabon cake. Uh, the first thing you want to do is get a 9 by 13 pan. I usually prefer glass, but I have shepherd's pie in the oven. So I'm using my dark pan. The first thing you want to do, you can use parchment paper. Um, I'm lazy tonight and don't want to use parchment paper. So I'm just using some spray and you just want to spray the bottom of the pan. So the first thing you're going to do is get some softened butter. It's going to take a whole stick, which is half a cup granulated sugar. And I use a big KitchenAid mixer. And then... I'm going to cream that together on a medium speed until it looks like this. Then you're going to add your eggs and your vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. It's right here. No, that's for coffee. I love eggs. <laughs> you love eggs. And that's going to look like this once you add your eggs and your vanilla. Then you're going to start adding dry ingredients. Three cups of all-purpose flour. Two. Then you're going to add four teaspoons of baking powder. Which, for those of you that don't know, four teaspoons of baking powder equals one tablespoon plus one teaspoon. Because there are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. So, we have all of our baking powder and our flour in here. So you're going to mix this together and try not to make a huge freaking mess. Now, you also have to add one and a half cups of milk. So the easiest way to, that it's going to be for you to do this is to add a little bit of milk at a time to your batter. And that way it doesn't become a big sloshy mess. is your final product and it looks like a super smooth cake batter and it's fantastic um tastes super good you also add a quarter teaspoon of salt that i completely forgot to add until it was already mixing so i added that while it was mixing technically you're supposed to add that way before you mix it but um salt helps to bring out the sweetness it kind of sounds weird but it helps to bring out the sweetness so now that we have our workspace all nice and clean now it's time to make the cinnamon part of the cinnamon roll, cinnamon bun cake. So you're gonna take a whole cup, okay? A whole cup, which is two sticks of butter. And you're gonna put them in, the pan, in this bowl. Then you're gonna add a whole cup of brown <laughs> sugar. You're gonna add two tablespoons of... Flour! Flour! Yeah, I said it. And then you're going to add a whole tablespoon of ground cinnamon, but the top's too small, so I'm doing three teaspoons. And I have found that the simplest and easiest way to do this is to take a good sturdy spoon. Um, you can use the back of a wooden spoon, um, things like that, and you're just basically going to mash it together. Mash, mash, mash. Mash, 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 mash. So I switched spoons because this one was way too big for the bowl I was using. So it's got a smaller one. And this is what you're going to end up with. And it does take some time. You'll think that you have way too much of everything, but it mixes out really, really nice. So then you're just going to dollop this into spots in your batter in your pan. So you just dollop it in there. What do we do next, Mom? This is what you're going to end up with. 
and it is so good. So now, like I said, I'm gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for 28 to 30 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. So for your glaze, you're gonna do two cups of powdered sugar. I got about a teaspoon of vanilla left in there. So we're just gonna put it all in. And then you're gonna slowly mix in five tablespoons of milk. It doesn't take a lot of milk to make glaze. So this is the glaze for your cake. Looks kind of runny. So I'm going to add some more powdered sugar so it's not as runny. Okay, so here is our Cinnabon cake. Okay. And then you're going to take your glaze. You want to do this while the cake is still warm. And you basically. Just gonna pour this all over the cake. And you can take a spatula and spread it around, or you can just tilt the pan and spread it that way. Just be careful doing that because you know it's hot and here is our finished product if you guys like this video please subscribe to my channel check out my facebook and stay tuned for more recipes and cooking lessons in my hot mess kitchen thanks for watching bye